Alright, YouTube. So basically, what I did so far was I took out my magnets, I removed the banding, I had to switch this plate which had the little three screws, I'd take that off, get that back together and because this one uh, was on the back, this one here was on the back but this one was actually here and basically I had to take this one off and put this one this one back on because on this side the stator was sticking up too high so I had to get that there put that in there so it sits lower the stator is lower and I'm able to insert my magnets just right on the inside of this for the stator in other words, you want your magnets. I'll just take this one and put it here. So you want your magnets to be like that. Okay. Even with the stator. You want it even with the stator. And you can see how tight I got this piece of steel in here. Um uh, it's really pretty tight in there and it's not going to be able to pop out like with the magnet here if I put this magnet here the magnet's not going to pull this metal off this thin edge on the outside and make it stick onto the stator because the stator spins around the magnet see so that's why I use this thickness. Now I do have a nice gap in here that could be filled with a thinner magnet. You know, I put my magnet north and then one on top south, and reverse in that order over here. But uh, right now I don't have the thinner in the magnets to put in. So I'm going to try to work my magnets in before I. I'd put a magnet here, I'd skip this one, and I'd put a magnet here, so I'm going to try to get every one of these with a magnet. See if I can do it. I'm messing around here, so. And I have this here <laughs> with my magnets, which caught everything else on the table, basically, so. These, these are uh, rare earth magnets. I got these on Amazon. Yeah, they don't cost that much. But I just have to make time and get thinner magnets for it. <clears throat> now, over here, I have another one set up. Uh, but these little holes here, I you put the screws in they get stripped so what I gotta do is uh, find out the distance from in the hole let me get my magnifying glass here you see the copper inside you'll we'll have to find the distance from that copper to the top of this steel plate here and see if I could get a, a bolt through that hole and then when I mount my blades on, all I have to do is put a nut and a lock washer on the outside and tighten it down. This will prevent uh, these from coming loose because they get stripped very easy when you're tightening them. And it's pain in the neck. So that's another thing I'm going to be doing. When you first get your wind generator, motor and we're gonna find that these two cover plates here will be on the opposite sides and when you get them you want to pop each cover off and reverse them 
and because you have because you do that you now have a mountain surface away from your wires for the blades okay be able to mount your blades now the back becomes the front the front becomes the back with the wires and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my magnets positioned on the outside and see what what's working best in my situation here so I want to I'm actually going to open this up and use the magnets inside here. This one is really good. I built this really good. But, like I said, these holes are stripped and I won't be able to use what I have to use for blades right now until I could get 2x4s, cut them down, and be able to mount them in this shell because this is the higher end on this one. So I'm hoping when I get this on I could maybe make uh, something to fit in this groove around the outside it will give me plenty of room to mount my uh, bolts through these holes to hold on the blades. <coughs> so. These ain't warped, these ain't stripped yet, but they're getting there. And the outsides are really bad. You can see I have all different kinds. I got flathead here, Phillips here. I got these here, different ones here. So, just finding the right thing that you could use. Which for me, been into this for. for quite a few years now so I'm ready to go with the bolt design this way I don't have to mess with it no more all right YouTube thanks for watching uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my magnets in order to be put on here on the inside I'm gonna put them on the outside for now and then I'll be putting them on the inside so thanks for watching